Welcome to Soki Pele YouTube channel, your gateway to biblical enlightenment. The art of raising children is a profound and rewarding experience, but it is intertwined with challenges that shape the lives of parents and their children. Whether you are a parent or not, trust me, you will find today's episode worthwhile. As caretakers, you are entrusted by God with the extraordinary task of guiding and molding your children into responsible, compassionate, and successful individuals. However, it is undeniable that vulnerabilities and occasional foolishness arise as children transverse their developmental journey. In today's episode, and as the Lord will grant me grace, I will be shedding light on essential biblical strategies to effectively manage these vulnerabilities and occasional foolishness as they arise. Also, I will dive into to practical approaches to navigate the intricate complexities of parenting and uncover the wisdom of Mary, the revered mother of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, as she serves as a beacon of diligence and vigilance in nurturing her child Jesus. I will also unveil the remarkable lessons drawn from this Mary's exemplary life of dedication and insightful wisdom. Amen. There were strange occurrences before and after the birth of Jesus that Mary and Joseph, the his earthly parents, took special note of. And as recorded in the Holy Bible in St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 2, verse 19, I paraphrase from the New International Bible. It goes thus, But Mary treasured up all these occurrences and pondered them in her heart. I had to check up the true meaning of the word treasured. I found out it's signifies profound contemplation, safeguarding thoughts, and deep reflection, indicating that Mary and Joseph, while watching their child Jesus grow, frequently pondered on these occurrences, seeking to decode their significance. I'm sure you might be wondering, why would they do such a thing, and what were these strange occurrences? Number one on my list is the angelic visit and the news of the Messiah's birth to Mary. St. Luke's Gospel chapter 1 verse 31 to 33. The Bible recorded that Angel Gabriel visited Mary in Nazareth and told her that she would be the mother of the Messiah. Of course, as a teenager engaged to a carpenter man named Joseph and a virgin for that matter who had not yet had any sexual contact with any man. She was perplexed. She kept all these to her heart. Hence the speech visit to her cousin Elizabeth who was called barring in their locality but now with a child as foretold by this same angel. What lessons can we learn from this? Diligently treasure the moments and keep faith with your child. Diligently treasuring moments before and after the birth of our children just as Mary did allows us to reflect and marvel at the extraordinary events that shape our children's lives. Cherishing their spirit encounters and nurturing their faith lays a foundation of love that empowers them to face life's challenges with grace and conviction. Amen. Number two, tiding of the Savior's birth by a group of shepherds. St. Luke's Gospel chapter 2 verse 11. We are told from the Bible that in radiant night shepherds encountered angels announcing the Savior's birth in Bethlehem. Amidst their hour, the message assured showed them of joy and hope. These humble witnesses shared their heavenly encounter with Mary and Joseph when they finally visited, who carefully stored this extraordinary proclamation in their hearts, envisioning their child's destiny. What lessons can we glean from this? Embrace the role of the messenger. The visit of the shepherd serves as a powerful example proclaiming the good news, just as they eagerly shared the tidings 
of the Messiah's birth. We have the responsibility to impart wisdom and faith to our children. Through nurturing open communication, we can encourage our children to embrace their role as messengers of hope, compassion, and truth in the world. By teaching them the significance of their words and actions, we empower them to make a positive impact on those around them. Amen. Another lesson we can glean from these is embrace patience and trust. Parenting requires us to cultivate patience and surrender control, understanding that our children's journey unfold according to a divine plan. By embracing patience, we create an environment of trust and acceptance, allowing our children to grow at their own pace and develop into the individuals they are meant to be. Amen. Number three, Simeon's prophecy and Anna's testimony at Jesus' dedication. St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 2, verses 25 to 36. Just as the custom demanded, Jewish families went through several ceremonies soon after their babies were born. These ceremonies include 1. Circumcision for the baby boy. 2. Redemption because he was the firstborn of his parents. 3. Purification for Mary to end her time of separation. We read from the Bible that when Mary and Joseph got to the temple, they met an old man and woman who spoke stunning words that marveled them as the Bible recorded. They observed these things and treasured them in their hearts. What lessons can we glean from this? Seeking wisdom from trusted mentors. Mary and Joseph in obedience to the law humbly sought the wisdom of those who came before them, understanding that parenting is a journey requiring guidance. Just as they treasured the words of Prophet Simeon and Prophetess Anna, we must seek counsel from trusted mentors and spiritual leaders. Their insight and experience are invaluable treasures that can shape our parenting practices. Amen. Number four, divine encounter, Jesus' distinction and devotion. St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 2, verse 41 to 51. At 12 years of age, Jesus journeyed with Mary and Joseph to Passover in Jerusalem. Amid festivities, he went missing, but was found later conversing with learned scholars in the temple. When asked why he made them worry, his response to their concern emphasized his unique connection to God, the Father. Mary and Joseph, perplexed yet amazed, treasured this remarkable exchange of words. To her, this was more of a glimpse of her son's divine purpose. What lessons can we glean from this? Nurturing their divine calling. Finally, Mary's encounter with Jesus in the temple revealed the unique purpose and calling each child possesses. As parents, it is our duty to foster an environment that nurtures and cultivates the gifts within our children. By providing unwavering support and encouragement, we empower them to embrace their true identities in Christ and fulfill their divine destinies. Amen. In conclusion, let us embrace the wisdom of Mary, allowing it to guide us on our remarkable parenting journey in this perverse world. By treasuring precious moments, embracing our role as messengers, seeking counsel, and nurturing the divine calling within our children, we unlock their immense potential and pave the way for them to impact the world for the glory of God. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Mary's Wisdom in Parenting. Through the stories of angelic visit, divine message, and unique encounters, Mary's journey has illuminated essential lessons for us. From diligently treasuring fleeting moments to embracing the role of messengers of hope, we have uncovered powerful insight to enrich our own parenting journeys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Soki Pele YouTube channel for more insightful content that nourish both heart and mind. Stay connected, stay inspired, and remember that in embracing the wisdom of Mary, we can shape a future filled with compassion, resilience, and love. As we always say on this channel, it is never over until God says so. Stay blessed. See you in my next upload.